quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is. Oh. All right, everybody. What is up? Welcome back to another video. Today, today's the day. Today is the day. <laughs> We're playing our first game. My first game of my entire life. A lot of you guys have been saying to me recently, stop taking this so seriously. Stop, stop hating on yourself. But you know what, that's, that's just me. Um, my competitive nature began when I was five, when I went down to that first rugby training. When I started going to school and I was around other kids that ran around and jumped, jumped up and down and, and did physical things. That notion of wanting to be the best, or at least to be the best of my ability, was, you know, ingrained in me from that point. The last five years I've not played any sport. I've not played top level sport anyway, that's for sure. And, and so that, that notion, that, that feeling of, of being competitive and wanting to continue my sporting career in adulthood has never gone away. And so I feel so blessed, guys. I feel blessed more than anything to have found this new sport, American football, loved it enough to really put my all into it, study it, try and, try and get better, and actually, you know, continue my sporting career man because if it was just rugby I probably would never have played again because I'd done it for 20 years it's done I know the game inside out I know the history of it I'm like you guys with American football now I'm always after a challenge and this sport as soon as I saw a running back play as soon as I saw them you know take the backwards passes as soon as I saw them work their way up the field beating men I thought, okay, that is the challenge. That's the challenge that I'm going to be bringing on to myself, which is to play as a running back. It's to watch running backs. It's to react to running backs. It's to play as a running back. Today we're going to do that for the first time. And, um, you know, I'm excited more than anything. Uh, this is a trial game. There's an A and a B team. And uh, the way that the draw has been worked out this year both our teams have a bye the first week. So what we're doing, we're not playing today, which we normally would be, we're actually playing a friendly against each other. So this is gonna be the first hit out for, for, for everyone, um, including me. And over the last four days since training, I have studied the playbook. And uh, you know, I, I'm gonna try and go, go through that right now. So we've either got a, tw a two back play with three receivers, or we've got one back with four receivers, or we've got no backs just a quarterback with five receivers, but one of us is a running back. So I don't know how many plays we're actually going to be running out of the two-back formation, but you know the, the majority of them I think are going to be just a single back, which means that we've either got an inside zone, we've got a draw, we've got a counter, we've got a, a speed option out to the right, like a toss, we've got a trips route, which is a receiver coming across, quarterback faking it to the receiver, and then we're, we're gonna go out to the right. Um, what else have I got? Some runs from the backfield. So I can, stand, I, can, I can set up behind the quarterback, go for an angle route, which is to 45 degrees to where the tackle is on the outside of the tackle, then turn 90 degrees and, and come across to the middle looking for that short ball from the quarterback. We've got a, a flat where I go 45 degrees, go out to the side and turn back, look for the ball. We've got a flare, which I really like. I love the thought of doing a flare because it's the thing that's the most like running in the back line as a rugby player. You're receiving that backwards pass, you're running onto the ball, and I just cannot wait. I cannot wait to get that one, man. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a seam, which is basically trying to spy a gap through the line and just go, possibly looking for a pass. We've got a hitch, which is getting through then turning around, doing a curl, looking for the ball, and we've got a seam, uh, sorry, not a seam, a uh, screen, which is running up, being part of the line, but then also turning back and looking for that ball. So, you know, there's a few plays. I've tried to get them through my head. Obviously, I can't, I can't expect to be a genius just yet, but I have come a long way in just four days, I think, and I am prepared, I'm ready to suit up and, uh, and give, it a, give it a crack. A toss crack. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? So, 
My number for the season, I assume. 24, two four. Now, I don't know what that means to me yet, but it will mean something. We've got my lowers. First ever pair of lowers I've ever had, except for the ones that my subscribers sent me, but these are team ones. And there's one thing I need to do, which is apparently put these pads inside. So I'm gonna do my best to do that right now before I go down to the field, because I don't wanna be late. So these look like fire pads. Nick Minnett. And a lot of you guys are going to be saying, just have fun, Jacob. Just relax. Just have fun. I am having fun. Being competitive is fun for me, okay? You know, one thing I was thinking in the car when I was on my way here, I was like, the only reason I'm still on this journey, the only reason I'm still going hard, the only reason I'm still so committed and, and uh, you know, so into it, is because I want to play. The reason I haven't reacted to much baseball, the reason I haven't reacted to much basketball, the reason I haven't reacted to much lacrosse, the reason I haven't reacted to much ice hockey, is because I'm not playing. The reason I love reacting to football so much is for one reason and one reason only, because I can see myself on that field. And I'm gonna be on that field. And that's what we're doing, man. That's what this shit is about. It's about proving to myself that I'm not done. It's about proving to myself that I've still got it. And it's about inspiring you guys as well. And I know that I've inspired some of you guys to, to get off that couch once again and continue your sporting career or continue something that you, you thought was over but it's, it's not. And that's what makes me happy. All right. It looks as if my knowledge is just not up to standard <laughs> and we're gonna have to do this down at the field so guys the field is literally just over there I've just brought the camera out on the way there to make this quick video but this was titled some thoughts before my first ever game of gridiron and those were my thoughts and I'm excited thanks for all the support guys I am having fun regardless of what you guys think I am having a shitload of fun and that's what it's all about so I'll see you soon.